Well, you know what they say. Pet a dog and you will be happy for one day. Become a dog and you will be happy forever. The only thing worse than two babies is one baby. <laughs> <laughs> Would you smoke hookah with Santa? Hell yeah. Why? Who? Why because, the hell? Because we're both over 18. Put corn where? Good job, team. Good job. We did it. We have done it. Just kidding. One more tip of how to live, dude. Speed hump, dude. Speed hump, dude. It's a real tip, and you can use it starting right now. Bro, we are teens. You mad? We're t we're teens. Somebody brings a banana into a theater, they should get hit with a hammer. <laughs> the punishment should fit the crime. You bring a banana into the theater, you get bopped with a hammer. You walk down the street with a banana, you are now suspect to search and seizure and possible destruction of your banana. I don't even. I don't even. I don't even. I don't even put. Nougat on me, dude! If you want to do something great with your life, there's gonna be a lot of moments when you want to quit. Recognize that the moments when you want to quit, those are the moments when everybody wants to quit. Those are the moments that make it hard to do what you're trying to do. Those are the moments where you need to keep going because that's when everybody else is dropping out. That's when everybody else can't take it. Sometimes you don't even have to do much of anything when you feel like quitting. You just have to make sure you don't quit. Some days success just means not giving up. This baby killer is ready to go to jail to suffer for life. Cause she killed a baby! How dare you kill a baby! From within the womb, she emerges to slice the baby from behind. Baby killer. My dad actually helped me carve a pumpkin yesterday. My dad loves carving pumpkins. Steve keeps continually trying to brand his dad to me as a skater. He tries to subtly drop references to the fact that his dad owns Billabong shorts. I have been trying to get my mom's comb out of my asshole for about 45 minutes. A comb was in my butt. I promise you, put a stable gun in my hand and that cock is not going anywhere. You're a buck cherry analyst, is this correct? Yeah. It's a family business. My dog owns two nooks. While I brush my teeth, I just quickly brand. You're not doing anything else. You're only using one hand. I just guess. use the other hand to be branding. Well, it started off just like any old e-card business. Writing e-cards. Writing e-cards. If you'd like to keep these broadcasts coming, then please donate to PPS. I peed in every single one of these urines. My nickname is Banana Hammer. Wow. My poop is not soft. My poop is hard. My poop is about as hard as a coin. My poop is about as hard as a hockey stick. Teens everywhere have figured out a new way to get hot. First, they get in the bed. Then, they poop and cry for three years. Gather around me, my children. Gather around me. Tell me that's not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your entire life. To see trees, to see the sky, to kick snow around. Everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. The minute that you understand that you can poke life and actually something will pop out the other side, that you can change it, you can mold it, that's maybe the most important thing. Once you learn that, you'll never be the same again. When I was in graduate school for poetry, a lot of the classes would really get me down because the other people's ideas of poetry, especially some of the teachers, really didn't fit with what I wanted to do with poetry. So when I would hear them talk about poetry and use that word poetry, and yet they were using it to mean something that I didn't really care about and I didn't believe in, that would make me question what path I was on. That would make me forget what I was really doing. What was very helpful to me more than anything was that I wrote a note to myself that I read every day. I would get out of the classes and I would feel frustrated with my teacher usually and then I would get down to the subway and I would be waiting for my train and I would pull out this crinkled note from my pocket where I had written down exactly what I was trying to do with poetry and what exactly I was trying to do in my life. I believe that we need to recenter ourselves on who we want to be regularly.
We need to bring ourselves back to the direction that we want to be facing. Because there's a lot of things that'll come up in life that will distract you and tamper with your idea of what you're here to do. 